Oh. Hello everybody, and welcome back to the Clutter's Vault, where cardboard is king. My name is Mike, and I have to apologize for once again, I wouldn't say this is a hiatus, but it seems like I'm just so busy nowadays that I'm only able to, able to pump out like one video a week. And it's kind of a shame, but I do want to try to keep you guys as, you know, entertained as possible, if you guys want. I'm trying to be more active on Instagram as well, to kind of like, you know, fill in those gaps in between my videos. Uh, recently, I've also been, I, uh, I did a, a giveaway, so once again, I, I want to thank Pokemon Mike for his support. And sir, I will be sending out your, promo your little, your gift, your win for the uh, giveaway. This Invasion of Chaos pack, I've just been, i just been busy, man, I'm so, so I do apologize. Um, but just wanted to say to everyone, I, I have some really exciting to show you. I have a really exciting two-piece mail day, I mean, even though it's only two pieces, these actually are some really exciting pieces for Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh fans. And also, I uh, wanted to kind of like take a look at some of the older packs I have that uh, I didn't use in the giveaway. And I want to see if we can have a little bit of fun and open up some vintage and some like, you know, some vintage and some moderately vintage packs. I think it'd be a good time just to, you know, just to catch up with you guys because I miss you all so much. And I really hope you guys miss me. And so, I guess with all that said, let's go to the table, open some packs, and check out this epic mail day. Alright guys, so... We're actually going to get into this opening. I got my two pieces of mail. I got the packs right here. I'll leave the packs over here on the side for now. Because I do want to kind of go through these this first. Um, I'm just going to go through this one piece first. Uh, let's make sure I don't cut whatever's in here. I should know what's in here. This is actually, I believe, an individual card that I purchased that was supposedly near mint to make condition. And obviously, if it's not that, then I will uh, send it back. So I hope you guys are having a good day. It's now October. We're getting close to Halloween. It is you know, getting a little chillier outside. Everyone's drinking their pumpkin spice drinks and everything. Right, let me make sure this is not going to be spoiled. Oh, never mind. Not going to be spoiled yet. Let's trash away. All right, well, I will say, uh, Joseph, I appreciate you packing this card up very nicely. Given that this card, you know, I think it'd be a really good card to get graded. That's kind of why I want it to be near mint to make condition. It's actually a card I do own already, but I just wanted to get a nicer copy. So, again, very well done, sir. You definitely did a good job keeping this. Uh, Let's just do this. Alright, let's see what we got. Allow this to open up the clamshell. Uh, yep. Alright. Turn this way that we don't spoil anything. Uh, this actually is a Yu Gi Oh card. Okay, I'm not sure what that number means. Alright, so guys, you ready? Anyone want to take a guess? I'll give you a hint Soul of the Duelist is the pack. Ready? Alright, guys. Oof. Ultimate Rare Mobius the Monarch. <laughs> Sorry, his face got covered up there with the tape, but that Mobius the Frost Monarch. Uh, again, once again, uh, Joseph, you did a very good job packing this up. Actually, I might be able to reuse this for whenever I send a card out. All right, so let's get this card out of the sleeve and we can get a proper look at it. Okay, I was, I was worried that this tape... Oh, man, another sleeve. Very well done, sir. I was worried that the tape was on the card itself, saying, like, don't worry, the card's not going anywhere. We taped it shut. We, 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 put, we put tape right on it. Oh, he even put this here, too, to help protect it. Good job. All right, guys. Now, uh, I do have. Where'd they go? Where'd they go? Where are my sleeves? Oh uh, no! Why do I keep losing my sleeves? I have my sleeves right here. Okay. So I don't know where the sleeves went that I had, so I had to get another fresh pack of my penny sleeves. So we'll use this to pack it up. Anyway, just want to take a nice look at this card. So. Be very well, you know. Let me, let me get a sleeve ready. Ah. Please stay right there. Okay, penny sleeves are now ready. I do actually like this as like a nice little compact sleeve, but man. All right, so far so good. Definitely don't see any real damages or anything. Uh, might be a little tough to see it through the sleeve, so very careful. Put it in here. All right. So, 
top looks really good. Oh, man, what a great looking card in Ultimate Rare. Uh, let's see. Doesn't look bad at all, I think. Even the center is really good, too. I mean, I think the center is a little bit off. I think this side's thinner, this side's thicker, which is unfortunate, but I mean, overall, this is really nice. Uh, back side. Yeah, I would say this is definitely a near mint to mint card. Uh, yeah, once again, the centering is pretty bad on the back, though. So, unfortunately, if you're getting this in graded, this is definitely never going to get a 10, but it could get a 9, which is really nice. If who knows, maybe they would still, still consider giving it to 10, but I don't, I, I kind of doubt that. I think all this is just from the sleeve. So, if I would be very careful and pick the card up from here. And, uh, yeah, there's definitely some of this. It's funny, like, someone actually told me that this actually is common on Soul to Duelist Ultra Rares, this, like, almost, like, foggy, the fogginess. It said you can even clean it off, so I don't know if that's true or not. But regardless, this is still a really gorgeous, like, near mint to mint specimen. Potentially mint condition, just, you know, centering it off. But this is just, this, this is actually uh, really gorgeous. So, Joseph, thank you very much for this specimen. I will cherish it. I think I'll just put it over here. Can I put it in here for now? Alright, neat. So, put that in here, I guess. Awesome, thank you very much. Now this next one is actually a uh, much bigger purchase. This is actually something that is, uh, is, this, is, this, is this right here is actually Pokemon related. Uh, let me see, where can I open this thing up from? Uh, let's see, this actually comes from, uh, forgive me sir, I don't actually know how to pronounce your name, it's uh, Yasiel, uh, Yasiel, forgive me. I mean, I talked to you, I talked to you on, uh, on uh, Facebook Messenger and everything, I mean, we talked like, uh, like with voice recordings and stuff, but I just don't know what his actual. I don't, I don't know how to pronounce his first name, so forgive me. Alright, let's uh, uh, just destroy the box to get open, because this tape is not letting go. Okay, so this is actually, uh, to give you guys a bit of a spoiler, it's actually a vintage Pokemon booster pack that is in a tamper. It was a, it's from, from a box break and put into a tamper seal. Uh, pack so that way the, the uh, thing has never been tampered with it has never been opened uh, Look at that. It's like finding the golden ticket in uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory uh, That's unfortunate. I kind of wish I kept this box in good better condition, but whatever All right guys now as you guys may know I do have a favorite Pokemon If you guys know what it is you can comment down below but there is a Pokemon pack that does have my favorite, oops, don't want to spoil it, it does have my favorite, uh, yeah, that's my name, <laughs> does have my favorite Pokemon on it. And so guys, I present to you a original, well, I should say original, it's not like there's a first editor on loan to print of this, but a Aquapolis booster pack from 2003, I think? Uh, this is a really cool set. This is actually the very first set to introduce the Crystal Pokemon. I think in this set there is a, there's definitely Lugia. I think Crystal Lugia is the best card to pull out of this pack. And maybe Crystal Kingdra? And me, I don't know the, the other Crystal. You guys can let me know down below. But yeah, this is one of my favorite packs of all time. And uh, I just, I don't know. I, and it has really cool Tyranitar artwork. You know, here's the, like I mentioned, this is actually from a box break that uh, Yasayel did. And he, you know, did record the, the, the pack opening, or the box opening, and I requested that I'll buy a pack, and I want one of the Tyranitar artworks. So that he put it into this tamper, tamper seal sleeve, and uh, so, yeah. yeah, there's that little, uh, this is what they do now, we'll, I'm not sure if you can read the lettering, but it'll say tamper proof, I can't get it to show, there we go, see, tamper, tamper evident, yeah, so, Really cool, because now I know this thing has not been weighted anyway, and uh, I am kind of curious what the weight is to see if there's a heavier pack. It's kind of tough to tell because I don't have the weight of the other packs to compare it to, but if there is like an abnormally high weight to this, then you don't know what, what could be in there. But yeah, so these are some of my bigger purchases recently. Uh, again, I still I might want to send this card out to get grading. I think the centering definitely would... Uh, even, even if the card is like flawless, I think the centering is going to keep it from getting a 10, which kind of stinks, but... I think even nine of that would be pretty nice. And this is just a card. I, this is a pack I might just keep sealed forever. I'm not quite sure. I mean, maybe in the future I'll crack it open. I'm, I'm sure the weight of it will definitely determine it. But uh, see so yeah, guys. Let me know what you guys think of that. And uh, I guess without further ado, we'll just get into a fun little Yu-Gi-Oh opening. So uh, I guess we'll start with the uh, Duelist Alliance stuff first because 
there are some cool things in here. Oh, in case people don't know, this is actually back when hollows were not guaranteed, and this set does have ultimate rares and ghost rares. So it'd be kind of cool if we can pull the ultimate or the ghost. And there's also the uh, the shadow uh, shadows are in this set. There's actually introduced shadows and burning abyss and everything. So there's a chance to pull a uh, Dante or a uh, ultimate rare El Shadal construct. And again, there is the I think the ghost here is the Satonite monster. So a lot, a lot of cool stuff in this pack. And so let's just uh, take a look. Okay. And oh, okay. So the hollow is uh, three pet three cards in then the hollow pendulum back. This is also this is the very first of the introduced pendulum monsters. And ooh, a seer. I think this just recently came off the ban list, or it went from like one to two. That's probably a good one. Ah, monarch storm forth. Love this card. Ooh, Satellite Vega. That's a cool card. I actually was a big fan of the Satellites when they first came out. That was like the, uh, the like when I was being very competitive, that was like the meta deck that I was playing. Well, well everyone else was playing uh, Shadows and Burning Abyss. All right, let's see. So three cards in. So technically, if there is a hollow, it should be this one. So we'll keep that in the back. All right, and oh, Satellite Altair. So that's cool. Uh, again, part of the Satellite deck that I think is really neat. Another Monarch Storm Forth. These really weird perform pound monsters. I never, I never liked the Pendulum, like uh, the Pendulum deck or the uh, perform pound Pendulum deck. I just never liked them. Really weird artwork. Bad working. It's pretty cool. <laughs> like, look at this thing. <laughs> oh lord. Okay. Uh, and oh wow, check it out. We got an Ultra Rare. It's uh, not the Ultra Rare that I wanted, but yeah, we did Magic One Ultra. Sephira, Queen of Dragons. It's actually a really interesting um, ritual monster. I guess, you know what, that is worthy enough of a penny sleeve. I will do that for Safira. So, put that over here. Alright, so, so far, luck's on our side. We did get 10 of these. 10 again, uh, hollows are not guaranteed in those. So we did get two hollows, which is pretty cool. Alright, now moving on to the big boys. Some, uh, these are the reprint le legendary collection versions of Vis Vision of Chaos, but you do still have Black Lesser Soldier and Chaos Emperor back in the pool from this. So... Maybe I'm foolish for opening, opening, opening these up, but I don't know. Let's have a little bit of fun. Uh, I don't know the card trick for these, so I'm just going to kind of go with it and enjoy the old classic artwork. So we got Ryo Koki. Ooh, Gigantes. This is actually, uh, this card got really popular with uh, uh, Adam Antipater, so the rock deck. Let's see. I don't know where the hollow is, if one exists. Okay. I think there is no hollow guaranteed. There, there, is, there is no hollow guaranteed in these packs. I don't know if they actually updated these you can get a hollow and a rare if you do have a hollow but ultra evolution pill and uh yep just the rare uh let's see Neo Vogue. all right so that was a miss let's see what we get in our very last pack guys and again thank you guys for making it to the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed the opening uh i will see that would be in for a while let's see guys that's an interesting common card uh Hey, hey, we got a Strike Ninja Ultra Rare. That's pretty cool. Uh, and that's probably one of the better Ultra Rares, but really, really uh, interesting, like, old-school card. They kind of introduced the whole concept of him, like, like banishing from himself in the field to, uh... Yeah, you do get a Rare and Ultra and a Hollow in these. Yeah, he's like the original Wind-Up Rabbit, which is pretty interesting. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Chop Man, Earth Chant, and... Chum with Dr. Hurricane, and... Ooh, I like me some dinosaurs. Hyper Hammerhead. Alright, well, I guess Strike Ninja will go into a penny sleeve as well. So, guys, I hope you really enjoyed the opening. Uh, so far, we, the, the other, like, uh, trap card was, like, whatever. But we got some cool Ultra Rares in some of our older sets. We have a beautiful Mobius the Frost Monarch Ultimate Rare First Edition. Now, I definitely want to make a Monarch deck again recently, because now we have Pantheism off the ban list. And we have a gorgeous, one of my favorite packs of all time, it's my favorite pack artworks, Aquapolis, from the... Uh, one of the last packs that Watsy uh, printed before we're going to back over to Nintendo specifically. And, uh, man, I'm tempted to open this thing up, but I know it'd be foolish. There's no, <laughs> with my luck, there's no crystal in there. There's also, there, there is also a Tyrannosaur card in, in that pack. But anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the opening. Um, if you guys haven't already, you know, just please stay around. I, I have a lot of fun videos planned for you guys. I know I'm, I don't upload as often as I used to. It's just been tough, you know. Got a new house, got a new puppy. Busy life, guys. Adulting's, <laughs> adulting's busy. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.